Not recording. Yep. Okay. I just want to send a message to all the abuse victims out there um, that are hiding and are afraid every day of their lives. Um, I want to help you guys stand up for yourselves and just say I've had enough. I've had enough of everyone's shit. <laughs> I've had enough of everyone's crap. I've had enough of everyone's religion. I've had enough of everything trying to control me. I've had enough of society trying to control me too. Um, just everything. Just I want you guys to live a normal existence on this earth without fear every day, without fear at night, without fear of a god coming after you, without all that shit. You know, I know what you guys go through. I know what goes through your heads. I was raised in a Mormon cult, so I know <laughs> what is done to the mind from a young age to um, an adult age. I know what they do to you. I know how they control you. I know how they how they do it so well <laughs> that I could probably be an, one of the business owners controlling people. If I, that's how well I know it works to control people for money. So <laughs> sad but true. I had to start to think like those guys that were profiting off me. Um and put the whole religion part out of it, you know, separate the religion from those business owners that call themselves men of God and stuff, and <laughs> I don't know, but I know how hard it is to rise up against it, get courage to rise up against it, have faith in yourself to rise up against it, challenge the cult god they, they say they worship or follow, challenge him, you know, and just say, I've had enough of your shit. I've had enough of it all. I've had enough of the fantasy books. I've had enough of the fantasy put in my head, you know, be with family forever bullshit. And I don't even want to be with my family forever. I'm, I'm an adult. I'm 35 years old. I shouldn't be around my family. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I should be a grown man like I am, you know, trying to live my own life like you should be, you know. You shouldn't be controlled by religion in your 30s. You just shouldn't. I mean, you shouldn't even be controlled by religion in your 20s. You should grow out of it, in my opinion, but they, they brainwash you so well that you can never, ever leave, you know, and just... It's a very effective system to control your mind and make you doubt yourself and make you fear all the time and threaten this, threaten that, you know, just like the world's too scary to go out on your own, you know, kind of bullshit, you know, it's fucking bullshit and the world is not a scary place, you know, once you just go into it for a while for... A year or two, and it's not that scary. People aren't that evil. Like, religion makes you think that people are evil. People aren't that evil. Um, <laughs> um, there's no devil coming to get you. You know, like, all this fantasy stuff they put in your head, you know, and like, you tell this stuff to a psychologist, and they're like, what the hell? You've been totally brainwashed. <laughs> And it's true, you have been. You've been totally brainwashed since your youth and you just had to accept it because of fear, you know, and your fear of a, a God coming after you if you leave and fear of everything. And you just have to break through that fantasy and fucking challenge it, you know. Like, does, does do you think Jesus really does death oaths? Do you, do you really think Jesus does secret handshakes? You really think he does secret passwords? You know, like, 
some kind of gang, you know, like some kind of video game, you know, putting in passwords. You know, you really think this stuff? <laughs> I don't see the Jesus of the New Testament doing that stuff. You know, I don't know about you, but I don't. It's just I refuse to believe he's like that. Oh, Adam, I want you to do a death oath for me and just be subservient forever and take orders like you're brainless and I don't want you to think anymore. I just want to control you, Adam. You know, just... <laughs> I don't see Jesus doing that. I never have. I've never seen Jesus doing that when I read the New Testament. And so it always conflicted with the religion of Joseph Smith. You know, just like it doesn't match. It's like, did Jesus change over the 2,000 years or something? <laughs> you know? Um... And when did when why do they think we want to become a god or something? You like <laughs> that's not my first desire as a as a five year old. You know, <laughs> I'm not thinking at five years old I want to become a god of the fucking universe and shit. You know, I just want to fucking play with my friends and fucking play video games at five years old. I don't want to deal with all this brainwashing shit that I don't want to be and fucking. But anyways, I'm straying off the point, but fuck, just, it's a very well-made system to control you. It's so well, you know, and I know how hard it is to normalize your brain to think like a normal adult person should think. And it does take a lot of professional help too. You know, you have to, you have to talk to professionals that are not brainwashed in the religion. That is key. <clears throat> non-biased, you know, uh, professionals, you know, um, that understand uh, cult brainwashing to an extent, you know, you gotta talk to those kind of people and they have their head on their shoulders because nobody in the religion really has their head on their shoulders, so <laughs> going to anybody in that religion is futile. It doesn't work, you know. <laughs> It's the reason why I couldn't get better, I feel like. Like, I always turned to the church for help growing up, but they, they didn't have the ability to help me the whole time. Because I'm a cult abuse victim, you know? I was abused by this religion that says that they can help me, but I was abused by it. You know, it doesn't work. You have to get out of it. You, so you have to say... I can't do this anymore. I'm going to die if I stay in this religion. I will die by my own hand if I stay in this religion. So I got to get out. So basically, your life depends on getting out, you know. So, I don't know. I just I just want to encourage you guys to, to just say to your abusers, you guys are full of shit. <laughs> you guys are so full of shit and you're not... You can't scare me. You're not going to scare me anymore with these tactics. You fucking, these fantasy stories and shit, you know. And that's pretty much the main thing is, uh, <laughs> it's just standing up for yourself and like getting out of this hole that they put you in and, um, I don't know. Start thinking for yourself and, I don't know. It takes a while to, to get some confidence in yourself, I know that, and start living a real life, it's it's hard, it's hard to tell. I didn't want to do it at first. I bitched and complained the whole time, I did not want to face this world, you know, and I don't know, they beat me down so bad in that religion, they beat my confidence so bad, so so low, that I didn't think I could do anything. I didn't think God was on my side at all. I thought he was against me. So I couldn't succeed. You know. It's just like. I'm just trying to tell you. You gotta. It's all bullshit. <laughs> you know. All of it. You know. And once you figure that out. You know. It gets a little easier. And just like. Oh. It's just. It's not really a religion. It's just a brainwashing fantasy that they put in my head. You know. It's not actually real, you know. And once you start going down that road of realism, you know, things get a little easier, you know. They don't have as much control over you. And I don't know. 
if I can just get one person to stand up for themselves and get help outside of religion and I will be a happy person just one person to say I had an, I've had enough of this nonsense I'm 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 out I'm fucking out <laughs> I don't care what's out there I don't care what you know I'm going to face it I don't care what's out there I'm out of this shit, <laughs> you know, I'm out of this fantasy, so, I don't know, I still, ha I still have a ways to go too, you know, I'm not saying I'm completely better either, you know, but I feel like I've come a long way over the last couple years, and so, I just want to say that it's not impossible I see that it's not impossible. You can get on strong ground and counter these people. You can counter them. You don't have to hide from them. You can counter them. You can face them. Face your fear and don't let them intimidate you and don't let them oppress you. Fight against the oppression that they try to put on you your whole life to control you, to, to extract money out of you. Don't let them do it. it it's a constant psychological warfare. And you got to toughen up and you got to learn how to battle psychologically and get your mind stronger. You know, it'll take time to heal, but you got to separate from all the bullshit. Um, and it takes time for the mind to heal from all the programming. And uh, I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, I feel like maybe I'm of use, to, of use to somebody if I put these videos out there. I hope so. I hope I can help somebody, maybe more than one person, just to get confidence to um, to fight against this monster that is Mormonism and or just abuse in general. Just fight against this monster that they try to put on us and and face it head on you know with professional unbiased help and I don't know I just want to help somebody just just in case you know something happens to me I just want to help somebody maybe live a maybe have a chance at a real life you know not a cult life not not a religious life controlled life a real life you know that that they have their own choices they make they have their own free a real free agency a free mind you know not scared all the time every day of their life scared to go to sleep scared to go to this scared to go to that scared to go there you know scared to go anywhere you know because of what they've gone through and the shit they've gone through you know you shouldn't have to be scared every day in this world it's not the way it's supposed to be you're not supposed to be scared and i want people to understand that even even if it may even if you think god wants you to be scared you're not supposed to be scared of even him just don't be scared to to live you know just i don't know everything everything that they everything good has a twist to it it seems like like oh you can obey the commandments but you got to pay us money and you got to do death oaths <laughs> you know <laughs> there's always this evil catch to all the good things you know they they fucking use religion as a weapon you know and i i don't play that bullshit anymore it doesn't work on me anymore the whole god loves you bullshit but we want your money <laughs> doesn't really work on me anymore like it used to you know they don't have that power as much power you know as they once did and i don't know that's all i just wanted to say i hope this helps somebody i don't know it helps me to say this kind of stuff i think like to get out of my head and I don't know
because I don't I don't want to give up in life you know I think I can I think I can keep getting getting traction and become a real person like myself like I know I can be like I know who I am on the inside not this cult brainwashed side of me that isn't me it's just their brainwashed ideas inside of my head that isn't me um, that I fight against every day um, the real me isn't this brainwashed cult side you know and I want people to know that there is a difference between the real you and the, the brainwashed you <laughs> That they try to make you, you know, and it's a constant fight to, to get the real you to the surface. And I don't know. I don't know. Just just take it one day at a time, and I don't know. It's not it's not an easy easy road, but it's better than be being controlled and risking suicide, you know because of the way they make you feel and, you know if a religion wants you to, to kill yourself it's not a it's not a good thing it's not a good even if they say it's from God it's not <laughs> so a real God would want you to stay alive even if it meant getting the hell away from a religion so stay alive and be happy and be free you know and don't torture yourself, you know, like I have. I've tortured myself for a long time thinking I deserved it. So don't do not do what I did. Don't torture yourself. Physically, mentally, don't torture yourself like I did. So it's not, a, it's not a good way to live and it doesn't end very well. So anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good talking to you. See ya.